And I'm wearing armor, so everything is like wiping my face on grease. I was like, we gotta stop! I have to pull up my horses. But yeah, that was fun. Toby, yes. you're phenomenal in this film. Let Thank me you, uh, just tell you that. That's very kind. Um, what was your first reaction when you found out that you were going to be a part of just retelling this epic film? Well, I was I was nervous. So first of all, I was like, why are we re why are we remaking this? Why are they doing that? And then we we got into to look at the book and I realized it's very different actually. What the interpretation of the book was was very different. So I thought, okay, so we've got an opportunity here. Plus, where else am I going to get to learn chariot racing? It's just not going to happen. Well, let's so, just get right into that. Yeah, because there had to right. have been, you know, I was going to save it for last, but you know, yeah. now that you've mentioned yeah, yeah, yeah. it, the boot there, come on, really? You yeah. were really on that chip? Yeah. Just please tell me about the setup for that. Well, so the, what was explained to us was like, you, you know, we were asked to watch certain aspects of, of the Heston and, and even the 1929 or 23, I can't remember the exact number, but the silent movie. And they were like, here's the difference is, they film it, but because of the camera technology, they have to slow it down, then speed it up. And we're not going to have to do that. So it was a very in-depth training process of really learning why you have horses where you have them. You know, you have two sort of bull, what they'd call bull horses in the middle that just run and run and run and run and run. Then you have a much smarter horse on the outside, and he can hear your call. You, you're with him from day one, so you learn with him first, it goes to two, then it goes to all four. And so he hears you, he is constantly going, and then you put your laziest, very bright, but still very lazy horse here, because him breaking stride, going into a, a canter, makes the next horse go, and the next horse go, and then you have some strength to pull them around the corner with speed. Got it, but this is such a physical film for you. I mean, the fighting, the racing, the horse, you know, how did you prepare for all of that? And mentally too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it is, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a mental situation where you're, you're trying to make sure that you don't go out there and realize your own fear. Because it, you know, I've driven motorbikes, I ride motorbikes, I've driven cars. Four horses, there's something about it, plus you can't see. You've got all this dust being kicked up. I at one point had the frothing mouths. The green spit went and just caught out. And I'm wearing armor, so everything was like wiping my face on grease. I was like, we've got to stop. I had to pull up my horses. But yeah, that was fun. Um, <laughs> but the mental thing is literally that, realizing that it's dangerous, so being prepared, but at the same time realizing that you've practiced every day. You know, we kept running that race. We kept going, and you can always stop. Working with Jack Houston to be so close with somebody, yeah. and then the characters have to turn like that. Yeah. That's got to be a hard thing to do. It was hard. And in fact, we stopped spending time together just in that 10 day run up to that scene. <clears throat> and what was interesting about that was I started to miss him. I was like, oh, I wonder why, you know, because I'm finished work, I'm like, oh, I'd like to go for dinner. And so I'd sort of text him and be like, yeah, well, let's just, you know, we'll, we'll hang out, you know, the day after. And so when I saw him, he had already prepared his character. And so when he tells me that thing of like, I did it, it really incensed me. I mean, for real, I didn't have to, I was like, why is he lying? What is going on here? So it was, it was a beautiful thing. Plus we'd been in that house for ages and then we'd gone away and been on the chariot. And 10 days seems like ages when you're, when you're filming, you know what I mean? It just seems like ages, days and days. Is well, you did a spectacular the job. I mean, Thank seriously, you. pat yourself on the back. I don't know how you could have done any better, but we look forward to talking to Very you for kind. more stuff. Thank and uh, you so always much. a pleasure talking pleasure. to you.